Oh boy, Hydrogen here, back again. Time to break the game another time. So you probably remember in the last video where we nuked the entire map with big old explodey boys and then managed to duplicate our way to building like $51 trillion worth of gold, but that's not exciting enough. No, we're gonna reset that map and go into a brand new creative world. Now the developer, Max, my dude, he, uh, he worked his magic. And not only can we shoplift literally anything we want like this, hourglass so I can make the world not be annoying and dark half the time and we can pr make the proper timeline perfect for recording videos but no we have the magic gravity tool of gravityness that we can cause this thing to go into orbit uh-huh just spin spin and yeet no oh, I missed I pressed the wrong button remember one time I said yeet and then it flew up into space but no, that's not what we're doing today. So this update on the public test branch allows me to do something that I've not tested yet. And that is place down anywhere on the map and build things. Oh, you're probably saying to yourself, what does that mean, Blitz? And real talk, I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna make a really stupid big machine and it's gonna be funny, I promise. So we'll just levitate our way over to the other store. Oh, oh, is it gonna glitch out of existence? No, we're good. And we're gonna go with a nice five finger discount on some conveyor belts. Actually, just one of them, because we can clone it. And speaking of stealing things, you guys probably noticed that there is new merch on the merch store. Well, it's Black Friday today, so why not run a Black Friday sale? 20% off using the code TURKEYDAY for the next week or so. Make sure you do that. Uh-huh, that's exactly what I was talking about when I said glitch and do out of existence. And please work, game. Thank you for landing me properly. Unstuck. Perfect. I did it. Also, there's still a lot of comments about my house here. This is Blitz's house, if you're wondering. Literally, this is my house. You're supposed to stay out of here. If not, the dinosaur will eat you. I think there's a couple other things. My buddy Dre has his name imprinted on the bottom here. And Raptor, I believe, is hiding somewhere in a cemetery. I'm not sure where. So I just need to buy a few more tools. Maybe a nice little smelter. And a brushy brush. So we can bumble our way across this thing right into the ocean. Stop! There's a tree. Oh yeah, the trees are in... in I still don't understand this. I can drive through a tree, but I can't walk through it. Also, I don't have legs, which doesn't make any sense. It's backwards. But the good news is I can duplicate everything and make amazingly stupid designs. Oh, come here, you. Also, why does there have to be a rock in my way? I was not planning on rocks to be in my way, but maybe I can just drill a hole through it. Like, such as? Nope. It's making noise, so that's good. It's squirting juice out the side. Oh, nice! Also, this probably doesn't make any sense to you. I would build a really, really long pipe right here, but the entire idea is that I can drip water to the bottom of the world so I can throw a bunch of trash down the hole and I can magically fill up my bucket automatically. Nice, that was easy. Now I just take a shovel and do a scoopy and then a poopy and then a nice wipe and trash pops out. Now my entire objective is to get gems which I'm not getting. Huh? Huh? Why am I not getting large gems? I want them. Game, I promise I only really want one because once I have one, we can drop it inside of here and then make a little bar, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go unstuck mode. Place it down right about there. Grab my magic wand of magic and awe. Make a bar and then stand on top of this and duplicate that bar a bajillion times. Also, there are a lot of people in the last video who are complaining about me not making the auto clicker spam things very, very fast. There's a reason why. Something about things getting clogged up and not working properly and then the game kind of breaking. Yeah, that's why you don't spawn things very fast. You just kind of do it nice and slow and collected and calm. And then after a few minutes of clicking your button over and over and over again, hoping things don't break or trying to smelt down your magic stick, you create a giant bar that you can use to power the reactor for the rest of eternity. In the hole you go, my little friend. No, that's the wrong direction. Can I catch it? Oh, I just about hit a LeBron on that and caught it. Just kidding, he doesn't catch things. He just punches people in the face. So now we have another science experiment. If we take these and place them right on top of here without the game lagging out, can I fit one of these little fellas directly inside of it? Oh boy. I think you know where this might be going. Actually, you do. I don't know why I keep doing this. And like, oh, it's going to be a big surprise. But then before you even saw the video, you saw the title and the thumbnail. And you're like, 
Oh, Blitz is gonna do the dumb again, and it's gonna be funny. Now, where'd my dumb magic wand go? Here it is. So we'll make a big platform pile of these things. I think it's also kind of cheating when you guys know the title and the thumbnail before I do. It's like you're time travelers or something. You're coming into the future, and I just recognize that I really don't need to build all of these, but I guess I'm going to anyway because I spawned them in, and now I'm getting a phone call. So all I need to do is just figure out how to get lots and lots of these things all to funnel directly into one big thing. I just used the word thing like seven times in a row and I probably shouldn't have. I should probably use made up words like I should droop the snoop over to the doop doop and then bop the bebop and then clone the thingamabobber, snaggle the skellywag until the wiggly waddle waffles, and ta-da, my magic wand disappeared but I built something kind of interesting. Where the flippin' magic wand go? Come on, man. You're <laughs> making me look bad. I'm trying to make a video here. Do I have to go buy a new one for free? Stupid magic wand said it was going to go out for a gallon of milk and never came home. So it's time to shoplift another one. And I'm going to buy two this time. So that way I can land properly at my house. Just like that. Nice. And spawn some more so I never lose them ever again. Also, that's kind of a satisfying sound. Like, no joke. I don't know what it is, but it's satisfying. Now the objective here is going to be how to cook a fish without making the fish burnt. I don't know how many furnaces I need. I also don't know how many conveyor belts I have to glitch into existence to make this work. Whee! <laughs> Good job, little conveyor belts. I love you so much. Please don't run away like the magic wand did. Now the real question is, do I let the stupid things burn first and then dial back, or do I get the proper amount to begin with? and make everything work perfectly. Because everyone knows this is a game about mining, not about cooking fish. So all I need to do is grab a few more of these. Slap that, blah, 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 blah. And blah, 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 blah. Sometimes words kind of get tangled up behind my teeth hole. And then I don't know how to properly make the words come out right. So we'll just close that up and the magic conveyor belt of magic awe and wonder is wondering why it's having to be here with me today. Also, these things are stupidly annoying, so I'm just going to turn them off. It's that constant sound of water dripping makes my ears want to explode. Would you shut up over here? So much more quiet. All right, so we ride the conveyor belt of death and then we run over all of these furnaces. And the objective is that the fish will get cooked. Shut up. You're so loud. Also, if you want to cook a fish, you have to have a way to catch fish. Which the obvious answer is by my first fishing pole. <laughs> I, just, I, I almost bought it. How dumb would that have been? I could just steal it. But there's something else here. The fishing pots. Just kind of interesting design. And I'm thinking we can make something with this. I'm going to buy two of them. Just kidding. I don't want to. I'm going to... I can't even get rid of it. I can't. I can get rid of it. How do I get rid of it? I almost stole something. I don't want to steal. Yo! Got rid of it. Ah, now I have this. I'm gonna steal this quick. I originally didn't even think about this idea, but I had the big brain plan once I got to the store. So the idea with these things is they're super dumb. They sit in the water and then magically in a few hours, they get a fish. I feel like we need Jeopardy theme song music, except it's copyright claimed. So I'll just make mouth noises that sound like it. Do, 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 bop. It's not working. Okay, those things are terrible. But what's not terrible is fishing poles. So if I sit over here, right on this thing, I can eat the fish machine in. I might need to figure out a different way to do this, but we're gonna practice. And then the fish goes on the thingy, it rides up the conveyor, it turns properly, which I'm kind of surprised about. And then it jumps up on top of there, goes down the conveyor belt, and I'm stuck. I gotta, I gotta go up here to see. It should magically cook as it rolls through, like, the grocery store hot dog. Actually, like, where are they? Is it cooking? I can't tell. It kind of looks like it's cooking. That actually kind of worked. It's kind of cooked. Herring. The silver of the sea. It looks like what I was trying to say. Oh, no, no, no. That's stupid. Why would you want to do that? What I was trying to say is it reminds me of uh, when you go to a gas station and they got, the, like, the hot dogs on, on the rollers. And then you get, like, food poisoning them from them because they've been there for 18 hours. Oh, it burned. Okay, that's good to know. Come here, Wajik Wand. I need you because I lost my other one. And now I just need to make some more of these. Oh, but good news, everyone. The fish trap caught a fish. How do you get it out of there? Wait, what? <laughs> the fish trap's got a fish in it, but you can't get the fish out. Why do you gotta be like this, game? I just want the fish. I wish they could automate this so I didn't have to sit here for 14 hours fishing. So let's try this a second time. Set maybe. Can I get... Thank you. Fish. That's not what I want. Oh, balls. Why did it have to fall there? 
That's illegal. Okay, it fell in the right spot. It's going up. It's going over. Nice, nice. I probably should get one of the centering things. Not weird, like, Buddha sort of centering, but we totally need to roll this little hot dog herring all the way down the conveyor belt. It's in the center, too, which is working properly. Very nice, very nice. Keep getting burned. Keep burninating. Keep burninating. Don't burn. Get cooked. Get cooked. Get cooked. It's kind of rolling over to the edge. Oh, it stopped. That's stupid. And now it burned. That's probably not enough. We gotta test it again. Tumble, little fishy. Yes, it's working. <laughs> oh, it got stopped again. Stupid. Why do you do this to me? And that one straight fell off. Thankfully, I brought these along. There we go, little fishy. Do your thing. Do your thing. It's cartwheeling. It's cartwheeling. It's rolling. It's staying on the roller. That's nice. Everything's going well. Okay, this is usually where problems happen. Yep, we've passed it. Oh, balls. Why is that one not functioning? Like, seriously. Why don't you want to play nice? Maybe because I pressed the button over here. Now the conveyors are working. Okay, we got a big chonker this time. Come on, chonker. Do your worst. Yeah, it's, it's functioning. It's working. We're cooking that fish. Keep on cooking. Keep on being delicious and tasty and wonderful. I feel like if I get bigger fish than that, it's not going to work. All right, it made it to the end. It's still not all the way cooked. So let's restart the cycle. Stop it and see how many it takes to cook it. We're gonna have we're gonna have counting with blitz. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. <laughs> this is, really? Is anything even cooked at all? 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. It's still not cooked. 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. 55, why is this not cooking? 56, 57, 58, 50, okay, it took 58. It took 58 more to get cooked. That's ridiculous. Thankfully, I have all day ahead of me and nothing else to do. Sure, it'd be nice if these things just didn't fly all over the place and nicely placed down exactly where I want them. But no, they have to jump around and be all dramatic and stuff. Why can't you play nice like these platforms? They're just wanting to pile up in a nice, neat snack. I said snack, not stack. Again, as I said, the words are trying to escape my teeth and it's not working properly. They're like, oh no, we're trapped in this little prison and it stinks in here. All right, fish are cooking. And I think this is gonna be good enough for girls I go out with because my wife likes sushi and I really don't know what else to do. Also, this one's cooking very nicely and the last one didn't. So I just think a long conveyor belt. Oh, that one burned. <laughs> okay, whatever. Is this one gonna burn too? Somewhere right in here they burn. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna remove that. And I don't understand this game sometimes, so we'll just get rid of everything inside. All of that work for nothing. All right, so let's do a little test. Now I do have an idea that we probably should get the bigger fishing pole. And it would also be a really good test for my next stage of this machine. Good little sardine. I feel like I should have got the centering conveyor belts instead of just the straight ones. Might have solved some of the issues, but I really don't care at this point. And that fish made it through without even getting cooked to begin with. So it works. <laughs> kind of. So we're going to work a little bit backwards on this. My idea is that we're going to build a little contraption to go all the way over here. So we'll fill in the corners with corner pieces. And the game seems to be dropping frame rate a little bit, which is kind of fun sometimes. So let's drop this down here. Turn that way. Nice. We have conveyor belt conveying it's conveying all the weighing and then it drops up in here and this is a stock market this isn't a fish market but i'm gonna see if it works so i'll just stand on the pipe cast a fish out and if i get one of the fancy fish that levels me up then i'll pull it off here before i sell it but if not the fish is gonna go all the way to the stonk market and i can sell it for little stonks i've been fishing here for 27 minutes and i haven't caught a single one of those stupid little shrimp 
And it doesn't look like every one of my fish made it to the shop, but a fair number of them have. So I can sell them for $231. It's actually working. I'm excited about that. But the good news is I had a spare shrimp back here at the base. There he is. Okay, so I've been doing this for like an hour. And look at that chunk and lobster that just came up. <laughs> this is a big one. <laughs> it's a chunky boy. I still can't catch a stupid shark, though. Oh, 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 that was a shark. <laughs> it's been, it's been literally an hour and 30 minutes of me doing nothing but fishing. Oh, I finally got it. Yes, yes. And then the shark goes in the hole and I go bongo. And then I get this pull, which is not the best pull, but then I can grab this thing and throw the lobster in. And now bingo, bango, alakazam, I have the master rod. I also don't know why that's so exciting. Um, but yeah, look at all my fish. Proof of concept that things are kind of working properly. <laughs> also, check out this chonker of a lobster. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but this thing is huge. And look at his little beady eyes. Isn't he adorable? He'd look good in merch. All right, let's quickly sell that. I have no idea how much money. $3,000. <laughs> Stupid. I will throw our pet back here. I'm going to name him. His name's going to be Kevin. Kevin the lobster. Where'd my... It's my brand spanking new fishing pole. What I what I do with it already? Found it. And you, my friend, you're gonna come with me because we have stupid experiments to do. We need to know if Kevin the Lobster likes riding conveyor belts because we're gonna make him a roller coaster. Oh, he's having fun. <laughs> yes, good job, Kevin. Okay, now you're already cooked because you're red, not one real lobster colors, but oh, yeah. I didn't think he might like that. Yeah, he doesn't like, he's dancing. <laughs> good job, Kevin, good job. He's made it through the fire, and now he's enjoying his ride. That makes me wonder, can conveyor belts go the opposite way? Is there a switchy boy on him that I can turn it backwards? I don't think so. Water drips out. No, it's still going the wrong way. I have a feeling that Kevin is probably going to like this trip. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is stupid. But it's going to work eventually, right? Tell you what, this is one of the reasons why I wish multiplayer would come to the game. So I could just make interns show up and be like, hey, dude, uh, I got to... Got a job for you. Can can you fish for me for like seven hours today? <laughs> and I'd be like, no, I'm gonna go edit some more videos. Also, I seem to have contracted smallpox, so I'm not showing up to work again ever. I'd be like, intern, but no, I need you because this is mind numbing. Then I'll ask him for a doctor's note and he'll be like, ah, just kidding. I'll come in and play video games for you. And the frame rate's starting to really go down, making me nauseous. Yay. <laughs> There's just something just satisfying about making these things fly everywhere. It's annoying, but satisfying nonetheless. Oh, well, my friends, I did it. This has been, you know, I get these really great ideas as something exciting and fun to do. And then it's like, hey, guess what? It's six hours worth of work. Yeah. So this has been my day today. How's your day been? I think my favorite part's coming up right up here. I made a little tower that Kevin and his friends are going to fall down after they get cooked, of course. There's just something satisfying about that part where they fall down sideways and then go up this. Hopefully it's working. I haven't actually looked. Please be working. It's working. Are you working? Yep, it's working. I also had to put in a power booster here because that long conveyor belt ran out of power. So let's grab that fishing rod and give the little fishy a ride of his life. Go, little buddy. I promise you'll have tons of fun. Also, there's a, a kind of a pipe block in the way. Sometimes you got to forget about that and just go with it. Isn't that right, little fishy guy? You're going to have so much fun. He's going up the first elevator. Oh, look, he's going to fall down. It's going to be funny. And boop. <laughs> perfect. And up the next elevator. And oh, perfectly done again. They love our adventure. One last drop. This is the one I'm scared of. Boop. <laughs> and now you get an unlimited ride all the way to the vendor. And now you're probably saying to yourself, that was stupid. Why would you ever do something like that? And the real answer is because fishing sucks in this game, but spawning fish in does not suck. It does not suck at all. Especially when you break out the trusty rusty auto clicker. Maximum fish power. <laughs> well, good news, everyone. <laughs> I broke the game. Oh, yeah. Um... Don't worry, the problem is me. Uh, wow, hello. Uh, yep, so these cauldrons, while it was a good idea, <laughs> they just don't work right. Especially with these little fishy things. 
Some of them are making it through. The sound of sushi being cooked is delicious. We can go for some real good fish and chips right about now. Evidently, this variety of fish does not like to go on conveyor belts. Be free, fish! Be free! <laughs> this is two frames per second. So let's try this a second time. I think that might be enough for cake. <laughs> is it working? Oh, I see fish going up that conveyor belt. Yes, it's working. We have a fully functional fishing display. They're making it up very nicely. They're falling down and <laughs> all over the place. That's fine. That's f It was designed that way. Uh, it helps with the cod liver oil. It just continues to do things. Is, is any of them? Are any of them going to make it? This is the dumbest idea that I've ever had in a video game before. Oh, and that's where the big one fell off at the first turn. <laughs> the giant chunk. <laughs> it's halfway there. Oh, there's a few of them that are actually making it. <laughs> I'm so impressed with myself. Oh, the first fish is going in. Yay. Wait, there's some in there already. There's some in there already. Oh my, I can make $69. And then that one goes up. And... <laughs> I mean, as proof of concept, it works. Oh. <laughs> that one made it all the way here and just went, eh. And then it, it's not going anymore. You know, real talk, I probably could have just sat here and spammed the thingy for days. And that would have made me lots of money. But we're not in this for money. We're in this for fame and fortune. Didn't make sense, <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> and that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, bye. I'd also like to thank all of the YouTube supporters and Patreon sponsors for supporting the channel this last month, including Splattersax, Iffy Sphere, Joe B, Obi John Kenobi, Fury Arrow, Doug Rules 2.0, Nerdy Geek, Pyro H, Max M, Alan H, Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Ben, Dicky H, Teddy Hippius, Des B, Eagle Arc, Maxer, Whippet Good, Spencer T, Baron Fox, Sarnoff, Deegan, Jason M, and Rail. Oh yeah, and keep your stick on the ice or something. Okay, that too. Yeah.